OK, here we are for Lesson 3. And in Lesson 3, we're going to be changing both the colour of the text and the background behind it of the text that we're putting in the Small Basic Text window, which is the window that you're looking at right now. So as you can see, we now have red text, which we didn't have before, and we have a white background. And it's printed the text that I've asked for. And as always, it says press any key to continue, which means the program is over. So let's look at how we actually do this. So I'll just close that so that we can start afresh. So what I do is I'm sending another window for another command for the text window because I'm telling the computer what's going on in that window. But this time I write four and it brings out foreground color. Now foreground color is the command that it uses to set what color the text will be. So I'm going to make it red. Now you'll notice that, um, first of all, I need to spell red correctly and you can't put any old color in. There are a set number of colors that you can use. Um, so red and it's got inverted commas around it. You can't just put it in plain. So then I'm going to write something. So text window, write line. And as you will remember, write line, put some text on the screen and then it breaks to a new line. So write line, hello, I am red. And then I'll close that and I'll close the bracket. And then I run this code. And as you can see, it says, hello, I am red. And the text is in fact red. So I'm just going to close that by hitting the X and I'm going to make another change to my code. So text window again is how I start because I'm making a change to the text window, but this time I'm changing the background color. Now you'll see what happens in a tick. It actually doesn't change the background of the entire window. It just changes it behind that text. So when we run it, you'll see that we now have red text on a yellow background. And that's what we've asked it to do. And it will stay like that until we change it to something else. So it is your time to code. What you need to do is write a program like this one that tells that that has a particular foreground color or text color set. And you need a particular background color set. And you need some text that you are showing on the screen. So you need to create your version of this program that, again, just to repeat, has a foreground color, so the text is going to be a particular color. It has a background color, and it actually has some text that it shows on the screen, and it must run without error. So that's your task for this lesson.